Yep, I hope y'all doing well today. This is my review of Season 8, Episode 5 of Fear the Walking Dead. More time than you know is the name of the episode. And, um, I kind of thought maybe, you know, with them touting the Grace Cure, or not the Grace Cure, the... June's cure, I thought, well, maybe, you know, they will save Grace. But, you know, this is a Grace race against time. <laughs> and I don't know. I mean, I, I love my zombie shows. love my Walking Dead. Uh, but I know people are people. You know, people are going to be controlling people are going to want power people are going to want this and people are going to want that but you would think if 95 96 percent of the population is dead maybe even more than that you would think you would want to try to survive try to keep everyone alive try not to be a dick but you know, you have so many villains and so many people just wanting their way uh, and not wanting people to live. But, uh, yeah, not a bad episode. Pretty, you know, like Daniel saying, we can't do it. You know, Daniel's, that's probably one of the more real things on this show. And, well, just like... Morgan last week, you know, the, the, they actually have gotten fairly realistic, at least on an emotional level. But, um, yeah, I wonder if they'll keep Mo. I mean, there's only seven episodes left, so it's not like you know it's a long-term job for any new characters. Uh, at, uh, I don't know. I wonder if there'll be a time jump after, you know, next week. There's all kinds of questions out there. I mean, if there is a time jump, then the girl playing Mo won't be playing Mo. You know, they'll have someone else, unless that girl is older. She doesn't look eight years old to me. She looks probably 12 or 13. And they could you know, Gus here up and make her look a few years older, maybe, but, uh, I don't know. She'll probably disappear after at least the, the kid playing her right now will probably not be whoever's playing her after the mid season. And I may be wrong and they may not have any other time jumps, but, uh, you know, that's what they should have done with Carl on the main show. Is like they did with Judith. Have someone different. You know. But. You know. I understand his parents. Probably. Fought for the contract. And I don't blame them. To uh. You know. Keep that job for him as long as he could. But. That's why they had to kill him off, in my opinion, because just, you know, you can't have a 25-year-old playing a 16-year-old. It didn't work in the 80s, and it doesn't work now. Um, but as far as the rest of it, you know, Mo trying to save um, Grace. Yeah, no. Can't remember. I can never remember her name. Why, I don't know. Um... Really, she'd been living on borrowed time since they found her, so the fact that she made it to the last season is pretty amazing. But, uh, yeah, not a bad episode. Not, you know, not, uh, not the best thing ever, but not too bad. Next week looks pretty good, though, with all them uh, trying to clean out all those walkers. Uh, I mean, we've seen it before, though. I mean, I, 
and I like seeing a bunch of walkers get killed. It's you know it's not that, but we've just seen it before so many times on this show and on uh, Z Nation and really not on most of the other shows, but at least on those you know big hordes. It, it, it's cool, but you know something entertaining or useful needs to come from it but we'll just have to see after next week there's a break i don't know how long but there is uh, so then we'll have six more and that'll be all for this series on youtube and i will do a review of the uh, negan and maggie show uh it comes out next week so you get two reviews next week um, not that anybody cares I mean I know these get less than 10 views usually less than 5 but I know there's somebody that enjoys my thoughts on this or enjoys to troll me by making me think that by watching it so yeah <laughs> if you do enjoy it if you do enjoy it leave a comment now and again and just tell me what you think about the episode we will see you all uh, next time.